Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I'm here with our second of three personal breaks today. And we do have another hobby box here of 2021 top Star Wars Chrome Galaxy, this time for Alex F. from Maryland. So thank you so much, Alex, for letting me open up this box for you here on the channel. And I hope to find you some awesome cards to add to your collection. Now, if this is your first time checking out this Star Wars product, you are guaranteed one autograph per box and you can find bonus hits in the form of sketch cards. Now, the new Star Wars product releasing on Wednesday 2021 Battle Plans does have two hits per box as compared to Chrome Galaxy just one hit per box and it did get put on the order ticket it did arrive a little bit late so if it is get delayed uh, it should be here on Thursday for us then I'll just go ahead and switch this week's streams and have a lure hockey on Wednesday and battle plans on Friday but aiming to have battle plans checking that on out on Wednesday but release date is still Wednesday just arrived to Southern Hobby a little late so we might have this stream days this week switch of course assuming the internet actually works this week uh, of course this past weekend which is why we're doing some catch up on the queue here some did opt to have personal breaks recorded instead of waiting until next saturday which i do appreciate those of you who did let me know very quickly everyone did actually so thank you so much uh, but hopefully the internet is working fine i'm hoping these videos get up in a timely manner and that we are able to do those streams on wednesday and friday whether or not allure comes first or second but anyways enough about that let's go ahead and jump on into this box here for alex bye Snap at us into the corner, grab a tiny knife, and let's go ahead and jump on into it. Like I said, one guaranteed autograph per box. Battle plans guarantees two hits, one of which being an auto. I'm assuming we'll see perhaps medallions or something. I actually have to check the checklist. I don't know what the manufactured hit is, whether they're little medallion cards or perhaps they're little stamps. Sometimes Masterwork does fake stamps. Actually, I actually think Masterworks ones are real stamps, but either way, curious to see what we'll find when that product arrives excited for that perhaps find some more awesome cards did find some very nice pulls in our double case opening of chrome galaxy on release date does seem odd that of course chrome galaxy came out like what only two three weeks ago maybe uh, we already have the new product but throughout the rest of the year actually we'll be seeing a lot of star wars do have battle plans and then should be having bounty hunters i think in a couple weeks after battle plans and then we will also be having, of course, Stellar Signatures in November. Also, we'll be having Masterwork in December. And then I believe Signature Series 2022 is slated for February. So hopefully, get to see a lot of awesome cards out of those products. But for the time being, let's go ahead and enjoy our Chrome Galaxy. Been really enjoying this product. Very sad that, of course, we did have two cases get lost in the mail. Actually, these boxes here that we're checking out this week and then this weekend for those who chose to just wait till next Saturday. Uh, we were supposed to be getting one replacement case, like one full case. Unfortunately, ended up just being 10 boxes. Uh, but yes, it did have UPS lose one of our packages that had two cases in it. Uh, so if those ever show up, of course, I'll let you guys know. And we'll have those to crack. But right now we're all out of Chrome Galaxy. Been very, very nice, very beautiful sets. Honestly, a little bit more popular than I anticipated. I mean, I thought it'd be very nice. Very pleased with the set. I think it's gorgeous. And you guys have been really enjoying it as well. So I'm very happy about that. And hope that Battle Plan Plans treats us just as nicely. Stumbled a lot there in that sentence. That was a little wild. We do have Vintage insert here, number 11. And Droids, Refractor. Nothing numbered just quite yet here for Alex. Like I said, an autograph guarantee. We're typically finding two to three numbered refractors per box. We have this gorgeous base refractor here. Leap of Faith, that is the box art. The packaging, the Anakin card number 39 is the pack art, but the box art there is that number, what, 28, Leap of Faith? Yep, 28. Do have Millennium Falcon Vintage, number six, and base refractor, Reflections on Endor. Global poster, number 13, a French New Hope poster, and Darth Maul refractor, the Wrath of Maul, to be exact. All right, let's see what we can find. Didn't, unfortunately, find a sketch card earlier, so we might find one here. Oh, we do have Emperor's Royal Guards atomic refractor. Card number seven, 134 out of 150. First numbered card of the box, like I said, usually finding two to three. Ooh, 
we do have a purple here. The little logo there is purple. IG88 on the attack. That is 22 of 25. So nice low numbered purple parallel here for Alex. IG Assassin Droid in particular, number 88. All right, so two number refractors down, an autograph, and perhaps another to go. Do have a mojo in list today. He can't do it alone. Darth Vader, 38 to 50. So some low numbered stuff here. Out of 50, out of 25, coming from the same box. Nice. All right, let me actually put them in descending order. Left to, well, right to left, ascending, left to right. Hero action figures, vintage, number two, and Ray the Scavenger, base refractor. All right, getting close to the end, looking like four packs, including this one here remaining. Still hunting, of course, our autograph. We have Scout Trooper, V5 refractor, Darth Vader, the Darkest Lord, base refractor. Where is our auto? Do, do, do. All right, cutting it a bit close here. We have Fall of a Jedi, Base Refractor. Two packs left. There we go. We do have a green, 9 of 99, Jamie King is Aura Sing from the Clone Wars. Green Refractor Auto. And Darth Maul, a menace named Maul Refractor. All right. So I was a little worried. I always get a bit nervous as we get close to the end of the box. We haven't seen our hits yet. We haven't seen any missing hits out of Chrome Galaxy, although we have seen a box that had no numbered refractors, which was very odd. Uh, unfortunately, someone in the comments of that video as well said they had a box with no numbered refractors. So it's not impossible, but very improbable. Unfortunately, the refractors aren't guaranteed. So in that situation, of course, it stinks to have a box with no numbered refractors. So although they weren't guaranteed hits, we couldn't fill out the missing hit form. Uh, Bossman did actually give that customer a substantial coupon to use on for a future order. So hopefully they were pleased with that. Didn't hear from them back one way or the other, but it did show the messages read, so I know they saw it. But if you are, of course, missing an autograph, do have that missing hit form on the website, although I haven't seen it with this product. We did see a couple in the Mandalorian Season 2 tins. But I haven't seen it in Chrome Galaxy, so hopefully, of course, sometimes things happen, but hopefully that's an infrequent occurrence. What do we have here? We have a wave. An evil court, the court of the evil huts. Wave refractor, 87 of 99. So I'd like to say a quasi hot box here, as we did have four numbered refractors. Like I said, usually finding two to three. We've seen boxes with up to five on the channel. Someone in the comments has had a box with six, so I say up to six now. But yeah, some nice finds here for Alex. So cutting it close at the end, but did find that nice Jamie King is Aura Singh. She's actually, I'm not familiar with Jamie King, but she does seem to be very popular. So Aura Singh autographs do actually sell quite well. But all right, let's go ahead and do a recap. Start off with that autograph again. Nine of 99 green. I'm a big fan of the green refractor autos because green is my favorite color. They look very nice. I feel like the color that looks best on me is purple. So I actually like purple. Although I own like, if you count this Kira shirt as purple, then I own three purple shirts. If you don't, I only own two. I don't know why. It's a very good color for me. I just don't own purple. Should fix that. We'll see. A nice green refractor out of here. Nine of 99. Aura Singh, Jamie King. Then, from lowest number to highest, we did have that purple IG-88 on the attack. Number 22 of 25. Had that mojo in list today. He can't do it alone. Not sure if I believe that, but propaganda poster here. 38 of 50. And the Court of the Evil Huts Wave is number 87 of 99. And Atomic Emperor's World Guards that is number 134 out of 150. But with that, that does wrap off this box here for Alex. Thank you so much, Alex, for letting me open up some Star Wars for you here on the channel. I know it's not hockey, but I hope you enjoy the opening and love all of these very shiny new additions to your collection. All of you out there watching, I know this is Alex's video, but of course, I really hope you enjoyed it as well. If you did, don't forget to go on ahead and hit that like button. Comments to me, drop those down below. Have you opened up a box of Chrome Galaxy and had a missing hit? Let me know. Would be very sad to hear that. But of course, like I said, if you're not aware, Tops does have that form to fill out and they will send you something. 
um, whether it be a sketch or an autograph, or sometimes if they're out, they even send autographs or sketches from other Star Wars products. But you are supposed to be getting a guaranteed autograph per box, so if you're missing one, make sure you go ahead. I can link the form to you guys if you need it down below as well. But yes, comments for me, leave those down below. And if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you with us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. As I mentioned, not 100% certain battle plans will arrive on time, but if not, we'll be checking a couple cases of that out on Friday instead of Wednesday. But boxes still should be on the website tomorrow afternoon for a pre-order for personal breaks. So yes, I think that's all the information updates I had for you guys. So yeah, with that, that does wrap off this video. Before I get on out of here, I do have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members, of course. Thank you so much, y'all, for going above and beyond with your supports. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. Do have 12 Black Label fans, Andon, Bounty Hunter Breaks, Chris Rivers, Devon, Epicenter Gaming, Fails Tales, Kira Sotari, Mark Mardini, MT, Sean F., Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also have 10 Gem Mint fans. Alberto M., Chicago Infinity, Dragonfire, Dusty Archuleta, Jerry Atchie Geek, Joe, J uh, Joey J., I messed, I stumbled up on the, on the Gem Mint fans list a little bit of the last video. Used to be Joe Howe. Joe Howe did switch his username to Joey J. So now we got Joey J. Then Michael C., Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectibles, and Sinvicta. Hopefully in our next video, I'll finally get that down. I did it, I did it the other day, I believe. And then for some reason, just stumbling today. But yes, that was all of our Gem Mint fans. But thank you so much to all of our channel members. Really appreciate each and every one of you. And all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. But that does it for me here on Star Wars this evening. Evening, afternoon, depends on the time zone. But that does it for me here on Star Wars today. I do have three more boxes of Chrome Galaxy tomorrow. Another two box and a single box personal break, of course, with our Q catch up tomorrow afternoon. But up next, be getting into our final box that we had in stock of Weiss Schwartz Bullfooty. And that'll be for Christian M. So if you want to see some trading cards, perhaps you've heard of that anime but didn't know there were cards, make sure to stay tuned. That video is coming up next. But yes, that's it for me here in this one. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you the next video. Bye.